Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy, and this is the video review, giveaway, and durability test of the Rapsol Strongest Screen Protector Film. Now, these were sent out to me for review by Rapsol, and I almost refused the review request because uh, this really is the same hash of a lot of screen shields I have very, very much frowned upon in the past, namely Invisible Shield, Bodyguards, Best Skins Ever, and uh, the like. Now, the reason I've never been uh, a big fan of these screen protectors is because they're usually of rubber complexion, or they add quite a bit of a stickiness to the screen, and I feel like they detract from a capacitive touchscreen experience. Uh, unlike static screen shields, which try and emulate glass and do a pretty good job at it if you get a good one like a Stein Hill or a Switch Easy screen shield, um, I've always felt like these screen shields, although they protect more, uh, they've never really been suitable and they're always uncomfortable to use, and I always found myself pulling them off a day after I had installed them and giving them a negative review. Now, I was going to say, nah, I've just, I've never liked these screen shields to Rapsol, but they pretty well insisted that theirs was a uh, better than their competitors, so I did agree to uh, do a review on this, and uh, we'll get to the giveaway and a durability test near the end. But I just want to tell you uh, kind of what they're all about and uh, the three different screens they offer. Now, this is my MacBook Air, and it currently has a Rapsol on it. Now, this is the wet Rapsol installation film. So they have three films, the Ultra, the clear and their wet install. Now this is the wet install. It's very, very, very much like the Invisible Shield or the uh, Bodyguards or anything else where you have kind of a soapy um, water and, and you spray the back of this shield and then you put it on and you can kind of adjust it because it's wet and then you, using a squeegee, get all the water out and it uh, sticks nice and good. Now, this is the same concept as those other companies, but I felt like this one was a lot more well executed. Now, it's not on the screen. It's just on the front of the Apple logo or the front of the laptop, the bottom of the laptop, and then uh, inside the laptop on the touchpad and uh, this section here. Now, I was really, really nervous to put this on because this is really where you do a lot of your work. And unlike pretty much every other screen shield or really protection film I've tried, this was a much better experience. It felt matte to me. And this screen is not glossy like the Invisible Shield. It's not sticky. Your fingers don't catch on it. It actually is a nice matte feel. And uh, this isn't the, of the optical clarity that you'd want to put on your screen, which is why I don't think they have a screen attachment. But I did feel like this was an excellent substitute. There's no detriment in your trackpad. Everything works just great. And so uh, their wet install, so long as you're not putting it on a screen, is really really good and I was like wow they're off to a pretty good start installation isn't the easiest it's a little bit trickier especially if your device is contoured but uh, it, it wasn't bad that's for certain now uh, let's move on to really the main product here and that is the iPhone Rapsol uh, right now on the front of my device I have a Rapsol that is installed for the iPhone 4 now I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's pretty well optically clear. Uh, there is really no uh, detraction from what you're used to seeing when you turn your device on, which is really nice. It's a lot more like the uh, optical um, clarity of the SGPs or the Switch EZs or the like. And so I, I very, very, very much like that. Um, your fingers don't catch. It is clear. Uh, it is a lot more glossier than uh, the MacBook Air skin that I have, but um, it still was quite nice. Your finger moves along it with a breeze. It does leave behind a little bit of residue and fingerprints, but no more than any other screen shield. And so it was off to a pretty well good start. Now, this is the Ultra, and the reason the Ultra is supposed to um, be better is they claim impact protection. So it's not only that it doesn't get scratched, but they also claim that you can drop it and uh, there's enough beefiness to this uh, protection film that there's no worries in, uh, you know, if you drop it from a couple feet, that's fine. Your wraps will protect it. Now, um, there's a few things that I do have to complain about. And the first one is the installation process. The installation process is still quite hard. I'd consider myself pretty much a screen shield master uh, or at least a master at applying screen shields. And, um, this was not easy at all. Um, I had a lot of difficulty putting this on, and really you only have one shot. I wasted uh, my first screen shield, and I uh, had to break into another box because this was uh, quite hard to put on. Unlike the wet installation where you spray it and you have several attempts to get it right, or unlike uh, static screen shields where you can pull it up and try readjusting again, this is pretty much a one-shot 
uh, deal. I mean, once you stick it down, it sticks down. And if you try and pull it up, it damages the optical clarity of the display. And so really you have one shot and I found that quite a bit more difficult than I had anticipated. So I was not able to get all the bubbles out and because there's not water, you can't push all of the air out. And so I found like this installation process, although if you get it right is easier, it's a little bit harder to do in the first place. So that's uh, kind of a downside and that's really my biggest issue with this Rapsol. Again, I would consider myself pretty much an expert at putting these on, but I had a real difficulty getting it on for the iPhone 4. Now, luckily they do have a lifetime warranty and a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you can return it and you get a full refund. And with the lifetime warranty, uh, much like the Zag and other companies, if for whatever reason this gets scratched or it comes off or uh, you can't install it right, you send it back to them and they'll send you a new one out free of charge. So that's really cool. But again, it was extremely difficult to install and that's something of note. Now, one of the great things about these screen shields versus uh, your regular static screen shield is these self-heal. Now, when you scratch the display on here, since it's uh, not really a plastic uh, or at least a I don't really don't know what material screen shields are made out of, but unlike a regular screen shield where once you scratched it, it's like your iPhone and it's scratched, this is quite the contrary. You can scratch it and uh, a couple hours later, you'll never notice that it even touched the front of the display. It's really cool, super awesome for people that are uh, constantly throwing it in and out of pockets and uh, you know, a screen shield isn't of much protection if you scratch the screen anyway. So this uh, does scratch the screen, but after a couple hours it does heal and uh, you can't even tell anything happened. So that's really awesome. Uh, now it's time, I guess, to do kind of the uh, durability test. Uh, we'll take this, and uh, I have a key here that's rather uh, sharp, and uh, we're going to go all over the uh, rapsel here. And I'm going to get deep in there. I can feel the uh, dirty remarks coming on in the comments, but uh, really, I am going to... Uh, put quite a bit of pressure on there and actually it's probably so much pressure yeah it's distorting the LCD screen a little bit so uh, hold on just a second that is pretty thorough uh, in getting that scratched up as you can see hopefully you can see the screen is just torched it's wrecked man that is a crap load of scratches on there that are super deep. And uh, for sure, if it was a regular screen shield, it would probably penetrate this screen shield and scratch my iPhone screen. Alas, no issues with the Rapsol. All you got to do is uh, pull your SGP Neo Hybrid case off, which I'll do a review on next week. And uh, you take your Rapsol, pull it from the top corner, and uh, it does take a couple chances. It's on there pretty well good. But just pick at it for a minute. and it peels right off. And as you can see, there is not a scratch on my gorgeous iPhone. As you can see, this took a, quite a beating. There's several scratches on there. And uh, now what we could do with this is since it's really not gonna be able to be installed again and there's lint and dust on it, uh, I could send this back to Rapsol and they'd send one back free of charge under their lifetime warranty. So that's super awesome. Now the question that really comes into play is, is it worth the 15 to $25 you pay for it? It depends on the intended use. If you're the guy that's constantly uh, scratching up the front of your iPhone and static screen shields just won't do it for you, then Rapsol is probably your best bet. However, if you've done uh, you know, a couple scratches here and there, you've dropped it once or twice and it hasn't been that big an issue, I don't think you need Rapsol. You're still better off sticking with an SGP screen shield or uh, uh, one of those screens because you do still have better optical clarity. It still does feel nicer on the thumbs and usually they're cheaper. So my final summation of this product is it's good for those that need it, but most people will find themselves not really requiring such heavy duty protection. That being said though, for the MacBook Air, I really do think this is a great way of protecting uh, your laptop. Um, it's uh, simple, fast, easy, and uh, it's quite a bit more uh, inexpensive than some other cases out there on the market. And, you know, cases make your laptop bulky and ugly and all that other sort. It's not really a fashion accessory like, a, say, an iPhone case is. And so this really is um, the solution I feel for laptops. So if you have a laptop, absolutely Rapsol is the way to go. If you have an iPhone, you probably don't need it and you're probably better off with a static screen shield. But that's not all. You can win one if you do feel like you need one. <laughs> all you have to do is... Uh, leave a comment below. Now, uh, we have an issue here because we have two iPhone 4s and we have one iPod Touch 
uh, first, third, second, or you know, any generation. So this is good, and this is specifically for the iPhone 4. So again, two iPhone 4 and uh, one iPod Touch. All you have to do to enter is uh, put a touch dash and then your comment and then phone dash and then your comment. So touch your phone and then your comment and that'll allow you to enter to win. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Thanks to Rapsol for sending this out for review. Thanks to you for watching. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks. This video is brought to you by Roku, Netflix, Hulu, music, live sports, angry birds, and a whole lot more. All on your TV for just 60 bucks. So much fun for so little. Visit treadedus slash Roku to learn more.